Hello, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday. For those of you who live in the U.S., I hope that you enjoyed a nice Labor Day weekend. I know I did. In fact, Autodesk was closed all of last week, so I am completely refreshed from a nice vacation and ready to deliver another Tips and Tricks video just for you. So this video applies to those of you who are using AutoCAD 2009 or AutoCAD 2010, or if you think you're going to be upgrading pretty soon, you should also pay close attention. So I'm going to be talking to you about the quick access toolbar inside of AutoCAD 2009 and 10. And for those of you who've already upgraded or using the 2007 Office products, you're very familiar with the quick access toolbar because this guy lives in there as well. But we're going to set it up, we're going to customize it just for us inside of AutoCAD. So the quick access toolbar is up here in the upper left hand corner and it contains the basics new, open, save, undo, redo, uh, and of course being able to print out your drawing files. So if you select this arrow right here, you will see that there are some other options that you can add very easily to the quick access toolbar, like the sheet set manager, match properties, batch plot, plot preview properties, I'd probably put properties as a good one up there, render, I'm not really sure I need that one on my quick access toolbar, but you know the choice is up to you. So I'm going to add the sheet set manager because that happens to be something that I use all the time. What if you want to add a different command, one that's not on that very short list? What if you uh, use the trim command a lot, or stretch, or erase? I use erase all the time. Let's add erase to the quick access toolbar. Easy, easy, I'm going to grab that arrow again, and I'm going to select more commands, okay? What that's going to do, and it takes a few seconds, it's going to, well, it's pretty fast, it's going to bring up the CUI, and a, kind of a shortened version of the CUI, and all you have to do is type in the command that you're after, or you can search for it in that great big long list, it's up to you. I'm going to add erase, so I'm going to type key in just enough information to get me to the erase command. Just select it, drag it, and drop it right onto the toolbar anywhere you want it to land. And if you take a look, I'm going to say OK you'll see that that works no problem. There it is, there's my erase. So if for some reason you decided you didn't want it to be on there anymore or any of those tools are bugging you, right click, remove from the quick access toolbar. So it's just as easy to get rid of it as it is to put it on there. So some of you have really gone out of your way and customized the quick access toolbar and with all types of commands. If you do that, you might just decide to move it below the ribbon. I'm going to select show below the ribbon and you'll see that my quick access toolbar is now hanging out down here with lots and lots and lots of room to add more tools, right? Which is exactly what you might want to do. Uh, now I actually, in fact the other reason some people like to do that is because it's easy to get to it. It's really easy to move your cursor over and, and quickly grab commands. It requires a few extra calories to get all the way to the top of the screen. So I'm going to move it back though. I haven't done much customization. I'm really greedy with my screen real estate, so I'm going to move it right back where I got it from. So how easy was that? That's the quick access toolbar, a nice little introduction. Now do yourself a favor and put your favorite commands on there so you can get to them whenever you need them. So I want to thank you for joining me for this Tips and Tricks Tuesday, and I'm going to see you in two more weeks. Have a great rest of the week.